I'm very optimistic. Something will yeah, happen. Yeah, but that's stupid as f You gotta live in the real world. I mean, sometimes you have to take a risk. That's not taking a risk, that's being a dumb. Most business owners took a risk and were in debt. You're just not paying because you're like, I'm hoping it'll be forgiven. That's completely different than what you just said. How do I pay it if I have a business? Money. Hey, my name is Val. I'm 28 years old. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do for a living in Los Angeles? I own a juice shop inside of a church. A what shop? A juice shop. Juice? Mm, yeah, not Jew. Yeah, juice. inside of a sh church. I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. What's happening? <laughs> All juice. Right. Cold press conversion shop in, in the church. Okay, cool. Mm. And how does that do? Not good. It's inside of a church. <laughs> Why'd you open up a juice shop inside of a because church? Because it was only $390, so. What was only $390? The rent. But it's in a ch church, which is probably why the rent was. I know. I realized that. That's why I'm in debt. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. how much does the church bring in? No, not the church. The, the juice shop. The juice shop. First six months, I was only bringing in about $3,000 a month, which is oh. insane. That was barely enough to pay for my employee and for produce Why, supplies. Why do you have an employee? I, I thought it was going to be booming. No, you launch it. You launch You launch it. <laughs> and then you bring on employees uh -huh. when you scale. That's what I did. I mean, oh, sorry. Downey on. is like the, they call it the Beverly Hills for Mexicans. So I figured, you know what? I made it. I made it into the Beverly Hills of Mexicans. I thought this place is going to be booming. I need an employee. Did you question why the rent was so cheap? I didn't. I did not. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so $3,000 is what you were making and... And then I decided to take a three month break because I was spiraling out of control and I started doing Uber for three months until I dug myself out of the hole. And now the it hole. makes, oh, my debt hole. You're I, not out of your debt hole. I'm not. <laughs> okay. But, uh huh. But now I probably make, I wanna say that combined with my street vending that I do on Sundays, I make around seven to nine thousand dollars in total i think revenue. you're missing one of your key jobs yeah there. yeah oh what's the other one um having pay pigs pay <laughs> wild uh -huh. yeah that's another stream of income how much comes in from pay pigs so i just got a pay pig 10 days ago and i've gotten a thousand dollars so far what and do you have to do as a pay pig? I have to, to humiliate hours? them. I have to call <laughs> them losers and tell them they have small. Like. That's all I have to do. It, like I, just text them that? Yeah, text them message. Even a video chat? No, no video chat. No you pictures. Get $1,000 for yeah. that? One time he did ask me to send him a selfie of me flipping him off. But that's about it. And he sent me. I feel me, like he could just be. I feel like he could just talk to AI uh, and the AI would just tell him he's a <laughs> loser. <laughs> but see, it's it's the charisma, the personality that they're, I guess, striving for. It's not the same. So you just got one? I just got one. How do you, how do you, how? Okay, so after I went broke and I took a break from my business, I decided to hop on social media. I was like, you know what? My life is a disaster. Let me just put my life on there for, for clout. Maybe it'll help my business. Life on what? My like my Does disaster, my life. Yeah, on Instagram mostly. I could understand TikTok, but mostly on Instagram. And I guess there were so many hate comments from men that I just decided to talk back to them. And I guess the pay pig realized, oh, this girl can humiliate me. Oh and he God. messaged me. He's like, hey, can I pay for your clothes? And I'm like, sure. He's like, but you just call, gotta call me a, a small, a small loser. And I was like, okay, sure. And then next thing you know, Cash App one fifty. And then next fifty dollars, oh, and then a hundred. Oh, I saw. Yeah, so there's it, a boyfriend sitting over there. How does he feel? He he completely sponsors it. All right. Yeah, as oh. long as I'm not sending anything inappropriate, that he's all for it. Helps buy us dinner, as we call it, din din. From we call din -din. him the guinea pig. Okay, so okay. we're making seven to nine thousand dollars a month. A lot of it's self-employed. Are we setting money aside for taxes? We are not. What the f How is this like the ongoing narrative for every single person in the history of this it's world? Just, it's like, okay, do I pay my taxes yes. or do I invest in the business? Pay your taxes. I, I owe so much in taxes. I think I owe How seven. You own taxes? I think I owe nine thousand dollars now. And that's only from like four quarters or three quarters, maybe. We didn't I don't, even have that, did we? 
That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. So what, I don't what? have nine thousand dollars right now. <laughs> you make nine thousand dollars a month if you budgeted correctly. You uh, I know what your spending looks like. You could have nine thousand dollars. I how if I make nine thousand dollars, how am I gonna pay nine thousand dollars in taxes? Not in a single month but you could do this over the course of a couple quarters if Ugh. your spending wasn't what it is and i know what it is <laughs> but the irs is gonna get me either way so i might as well keep i don't know investing in my business that doesn't make any sense that <sighs> doesn't make any sense it's like if, okay. gonna, that doesn't, they will, they, if, if they will get you either way mm. why not be prepared for the time they come and get you okay look what's gonna happen i could give them the nine thousand dollars but then my business will stay where it's at or I can use that money, try to... Or they'll just come and f destroy you. I think they'll be nicer. They can. If I'm in you a church. If you proactively reach out, mm -hmm. you're a private business within uh -huh. the church. Yeah. Yeah, one time they reached out and I accidentally answered and the lady just killed me. She completely like nailed me down. She's like, you're so responsible. I'm like, look, lady, I So had you think they're going to be nice uh -huh. after the one phone call you've had with them was not nice? I thought they'd be understanding. Apparently they didn't care. They're willing to be more understanding if you reach out and be like, yo, I f***ed up a little bit. I heard horror stories of like, you know what? They're going to so take away your business. It off. Exactly. So you're just putting it off. That's going to make it bad. I know. That's go I took the risk and I said, you know what? Maybe my business can grow and then well, I can give them. Has the business grown? Slightly. Very okay, slightly. Not enough 3, to pay. 3,000 to what? To seven to 8,000. So it's more than doubled. It's more than double, but I have so much debt that I don't know what to pay. It's like, do I pay the IRS? Collections. Yeah. Always pay the IRS is the rule. Uh-huh. So it is the rule. It's like, do I pay my business? Do I invest in it? Do I pay the IRS? Do I pay collections? Oh, do I? What do gosh. I pay? Like, what do I do? I'm going to call him out by name because he deserves it for this one. Oh, God. But my producer, Noah, wants you to do a pay pig role play with me okay so if you want to see that stick to the end of this episode oh my gosh <laughs> will i be the pay pig or will you you know what you actually let's pig. do that in the post show we'll okay. do that in the post show okay because <laughs> that doesn't fit in financial audit so we'll do that in the post show okay you might be Where into it who no knows limits you might be into it mm -hmm. i am taken thank you very much <laughs> so am i <laughs> oh you're right yeah <laughs> If you're looking to save on your expenses, a great place to start looking is at your phone bill. I've recently had a lot of people around me switch to Helium Mobile and it's been awesome for them when they're trying to budget. It has unlimited data, texts, and calls with amazing coverage just for $20. Think about how much money that can save you per year. I connected my friends and family to Helium Mobile because they were spending up to $100 per month on their phone bill and that's just insane. So because of this, they'll now be saving up to $1,000 per year. This is a no brainer if you're looking for a great way to keep money in your pocket. If they can save that much money, you probably can too. All that being said, they're actually sponsoring this video to help you guys get a free trial in your first month. Again, that's 30 days of free unlimited data, texts, and calls on your first try. Just use my promo code Caleb in the link in the description below. All right, so we have a Honda Accord. Mm. It looks like this thing's paid off uh, about halfway through. Yes, correct. Cool. Now, with this car, the interest rate is not that insane, mm -hmm. but we're sitting at a total balance of $12,891.79 with a minimum monthly payment of four oh three a month. And I can see that hurting when we're, you know, when the business wasn't making much money. Definitely. It's a big chunk. Mm -hmm. You see, I was able to but afford it up until last year. I was pretty responsible up until last year. And now I'm in this big hole. And it's sitting at 5.49% interest. Mm -hmm. What happened last year? Uh, I took the risk of opening in a church and that completely- So that was last year? That was last year. That was during the summer. Before that, I was pretty responsible. I think I had How like How long is your lease? It's supposed to end in June and then I'm supposed to possibly renew it if they- Well, obviously don't, right? Uh -huh. If you're sowing a little bit of success in there, maybe take it to a place that has more foot traffic. I assume mm -hmm. there's decent, decent foot tra traffic in there, but I mean, I'm just speaking my own history on this one. Mm -hmm. Are people, when they go to church, are they getting juice? I think they're getting coffee and donuts. I'm not allowed to sell to the church people. Okay, so is this like an <laughs> uber mega church where it's just like a mall? So this church is so historic. Confused. It's like 130 years old. But legally, there cannot be a commercial business in a church. So there's a nonprofit that reached out to me who rents in the church, who's like, hey, why aren't you an extension? Why, or why? 
let's invite you over to be an extension of our program. So that's the only way I was able to sell in there. But the loophole, the loophole is I can only open four hours a day weekdays. Okay, it's when that lease is done, I think we're moving. You're mm-hmm. gonna have a more expensive rent, but if you're able to prove the business model anyway. Mm-hmm. What you, uh, what's so special about your juice? Uh, my juice? Yeah. Well, it's fresh, it's healthy, and I do this live- sounds like every juice spot in Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I do live in like a low income community, so I guess cold pressed juice is a very relatively new topic. So that's why I was a hit where I originally started selling, but once I moved to Downey, where there's a higher- Where were you before? In Cudahy. Well, no, no, just like what kind of street vending street vending yeah and i still do that on sundays and that does way better than the down what are you doing i know doesn't sound like a i know but believe it or not i have so many other business friends that took the same route and now they have like three restaurants and they owe like a quarter million in taxes so it's like well if they did it and they have so many restaurants why don't i do it all right let's try to uh, it's a mess yeah, it is. I don't know where to start. We'll talk about that more in a bit. Mm-hmm. We'll see where your financial situation stands. Student loans. This is seven thousand taxes. Oh, that's. T- but I haven't filed Wait. two quarters, oh, so now I probably it was student loans. So now I probably owe nine thousand dollars on this. Mm-hmm. Naughty, naughty, and your yes. taxes are are your student loans. Are you paying minimum monthly payments on these? What's happening? I have happening? never made a payment. Okay. Are payments required currently? I think they are. They started, I believe, last year. You see, I graduated in 2019. COVID happened right afterwards. So we didn't have to pay for two years. And then by the time we had to pay, I was in a deep hole. I was in deep. You let them know you're in deep. You ask for deferral or you ask to be put on an income based payment. We don't just not pay them. They mm. will garnish your wages. They will fuck you. I was waiting for Biden and to. Not in the good ways that you do with your little piggies. I don't do that. They wish that I did that. But I was waiting for Biden to forgive them. Yeah. How'd that go? <sighs> he's going to get it. No, he's not. The Supreme Court said no. He's going to try again. The Supreme Court said no. It doesn't matter. I have like, hope. Hope doesn't really pay off debt. I have hope. Our next president will help. The next president? You know, the next president is either Biden or Trump. I know. Maybe Trump will find it in his heart to forgive us. No, he doesn't want to. Something will happen. He's not for that. Something will happen. How are you just saying that? What do you mean? Is this how you live your life? Yes, I'm very optimistic. Something will happen. Yeah, but that's stupid as f***. You got to live in the real world. I mean, sometimes you have to take a risk. That's not taking a risk. That's being a (laughs) dumb. I don't know. I mean, most business owners took a risk and were in debt. No, you're just not paying because you're like, I'm hoping it'll be forgiven. That's completely different than what you just said. But it's like, how do I pay it if I have a business? Money. But I need to pay my other debts too. So what do I pay first? Your other debts are in collections that don't require minimum monthly payments anyway. This one at least requires uh-huh. a minimum monthly payment. So what the f- are you talking about? What about the debts I owe to my loved ones? Well, I don't know about those. So, but I'm guessing. F- What's your, sorry? What's your minimum monthly payment on these? Okay, on the student student loans. loans. I don't. Need, I haven't checked. Guessing about a hundred bucks a month for each one or for all of them. Total. Okay. Yeah, they sold the company, so I don't even have the portal anymore, and well, I you had got to, transferred probably. Yeah. You get an email and you just fucking look at it like every other human being did, because we all have student loans. You're not special. You're not unique. I was stressed. Take care of your. Sh- you're going to be more stressed when they start garnishing from your wages. Self-care. I, my, they actually started garnishing my wages. One of my creditors. But you make videos where you... Si- uh, so I know you like to kink humiliate other people, but you s- essentially make videos where you kink humiliate yourself based on how bad your own finances are. Mm-hmm. So like, why not... Uh-huh. Like, you're here now. Uh-huh. Cool, let's have the conversation. Why not try to improve them? I'm trying, but there's just so many. Not, not from anything you just said. There's just so many that I don't know where to start. It's like, do I, like I said, invest Does my business? It doesn't even matter if you know where to start because you're so, uh-huh. you're you're absolutely ridiculously dumb on everything I just said when it comes to student loans. Uh-huh. That doesn't give me any hope. But it's like, I have my business taxes. That would be more responsible if to pay first. If you say the word business one more time, I am burning this building to the ground. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I have hope that... I'll be able to pay everything, but I need to, as you said, maybe contact them first. Pull up, credit card. Okay, gotcha. 553, yeah. (laughs) 
When's the last time you filed taxes? Last year. For 2022? Okay. Yes. I use the Keeper app, though. Mm-hmm. Because at the time, like, I, I was struggling financially, and I think they only charged me 100 to file them. I don't even... What is this? It's from Shein. C- congratulations. What the f*** is this? I have no idea. It's probably cancerous, but it's cheap. It was, like, a dollar. It's so weird. Like... Very weird texture. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, yep, there's the... Oh, f*** off! You oh, have a no. missed payment on your car! I do. Why'd you not tell me that when we were talking about it? I do. They they ended up extending my contract by two months. Huh? Yeah, they made me pay one payment, and then they extended the last two payments I was behind. Why? I was struggling again. Oh... There's just so many expenses. And the collections. Oh, this is endless. I know. Oh, this is endless. What are these? What the f*** is this one for ten thousand six hundred fifty-two dollars? You're gonna hate me for saying this, but it was for my business. I hate you for saying that. What a, was it? A juicer cost seven thousand dollars. So in 2022, my business actually got really busy that to the point that I had to buy a second juicer. Oh. But then. Five months later, the business started dying off. So then I couldn't afford that loan anymore. Oh, this is why we don't leverage it, man. Afford yeah. it when you can f-ing afford it. I Buy thought, it when you can afford it. I thought it was an Oh, investment. look at this bullshit. Uber Eats just popped up with a notification <laughs> on your phone. I think that's the last thing that someone in your position, I can't pay on my debts. I can't pay a minimum monthly uh-huh. payment on my car. Can't pay a minimum monthly payment on my student loans. Uh-huh. I don't think we have the Uber Eats app downloaded on our phone. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I have the monthly subscription, so it's only for like $2 Yo, what? more. What are you? Uh-huh. Why? You can't afford to pay a minimum monthly payment on your car and student loans. How do you have a subscription to Uber Eats? It's just $2 more. Oh, $2 more what? To get it delivered. I, oh. I get free delivery. And then you tip no, the driver. No, businesses mm-hmm. have their prices more expensive on Uber Eats. Regardless, uh-huh. the food prices are more expensive there. Time is money, though. So when I don't You don't make time, any money. You don't make any money. So what f- time? Uh-huh. This is the... You say the business brings in this money. That's not mm. what you bring home. You uh-huh. bring home like $1,328 in profits. Uh-huh. So you don't make money. Time equals more money. Time equals money. Uh-huh. You must have no time because you have no money. Uh-huh. See, if I were going out to eat or t- cooking, I would have less time. I sandwich, would make- sandwich, sandwich. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. What was $5,625? That was, okay, so I took out $15,000 in total. So it was two loans. One $10,000, one five thousand dollar juicer and other business uh, equipment other business equipment. yes so that's what i spent in summer of 2022 uh, and i believe i did five payments and then that's when i completely crashed in the beginning of 2023 and that's when i decided has you moved into the church not yet it was slow season it was slow season so winter what does juice. that mean winter it's, yeah it's yeah. juice cold items so winter time is the worst time so i couldn't afford the 700 dollars payment a month then why'd you t- why'd you take out a debt then you know a cold season's coming no one's buying f- juice in the cold some some winters they do this past winter was kind of okay-ish but some winters they do but i that was my first lesson and then that's when i decided you know what i'm drowning in credit card debt that i took out when i was a teen i'm drowning in this business debt so i'm just gonna file bankruptcy and i tried to file bankruptcy and i went to a lawyer an attorney and we were gonna go through with it but i didn't have the thousand dollars to pay for the a whole process so he told me to come back whenever i had it so i started saving for it but then I was presented the opportunity to sell in the church and I decided to just uh, use those thousand dollars to invest in the church. No. So I, I'm I guess everywhere. you have zero dollars in retirement. Zero. Mm. I believe I had money into an IRA, but I took it out when COVID happened. Why? Because I was also There's another- penalties to take it out. Yep, I think they took $2,000 of the penalties. I ended up only getting like $3,000. That was the first time I fell into a hole. And then the second time was this past year. Listen, this conversation hurts. If you've made financial progress anywhere over the last year, I want to know what it is. Tell me in the comments below. Make my day brighter. <laughs> it's getting better. At least now I have the, f- are you talking the about? pay pig to keep, keep me afloat. The f- 
well business speeds up we're getting into spring Dang. now we're getting into summer that's the busy time of Just my business our, our, is our entire future of our life gonna dependent on micro <laughs> i don't think so that doesn't sound like a future plan just for now until things start picking up again well that's a hope thing mm -hmm. it's a hope thing mm -hmm. i'm marketing i'm i've improved the recipes i've improved the consistency the texture do you have any juice here that i can try i couldn't fly it over tsa took it you couldn't make it here no i can't the juicer weighs 90 pounds oh you could have made it like a version right it's not the same though cold pressed juice it's the quality of it that's why it's so expensive <clears throat> mm -hmm. so you have a good product i have every good concept it's just the location and it's like i can't afford to I move i hope it's just the location because the market also the might be just telling you they don't like it no <laughs> no i have great products it's just the location and i can't afford a storefront so now i'm in a pickle where well, i don't no, know you were doing great on the street but it's illegal at the end of the day oh it is yeah it's illegal like, but our city's super cool our mayor is 28 she went to high school with me so she she's super supportive other than that we would get our stuff taken in any other city yeah so it's a little controversial some people are against street vendors but because some Especially don't pay taxes well you should pay taxes uh-huh and i think it should be illegal and you should pay taxes and then you're not harassing like customers yeah. with like hey you come here come here get that oh yeah of course so it's just like oh uh -huh. cool food in a park like i'm all about it yeah it's cool but it's not sustainable for like long term oh here came little micro 15 dollars micro uh -huh. 50 dollars micro 15 dollars micro 20 dollars micro 100 dollars 160 dollars micro and a five dollar micro uh-huh great there are other followers too who just like my content of me humiliating myself talking about my struggles and they sometimes is that is, that's not why you're here right you're not getting like worked up over there no from getting your money sh on, are you, you see i shared the thing that i like to do is share with people that despite having struggles you can still you know follow your dreams keep going keep going at it and then in one of my videos where i was being transparent about being in so much debt because of school or my car or my business a lot of men did not like that and they had a lot of ugly things to say and many people actually tagged you and that's how i found out about the show i had so many people tag you on that video completely shaming me calling me so irresponsible so that's why i came here and flew all the way here to confirm whether well to be clear don't be mean uh, uh -huh. the guest is on the show to get their wake-up call and they've agreed to me being a little mm. but don't be mean See, yeah, support them cheer them i on. wanted to come here to hear it from you so it sounds like she might get excited from it but <laughs> everyone else i do not have a humiliation kink i do not uh -huh. i'm just very honest very transparent uh -huh. i want to guide uh -huh. other girls and women that are in my shoes too i have like 40 bucks in a checking account that's mm-hmm this is Zell's coming in and go fund me and Square, that's the business. And uh -huh. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. See, my spending isn't irresponsible. I, I, I haven't gotten that. to your spending. It's not irresponsible. This is money coming in. Mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you talking about? I've seen your spending. You don't know what you're, what are you? I don't shop. I don't eat you out. Zell, 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 Zell. That's for and purchases. Square. For street vending. Some people Some pay legal through Zelle. order, payroll. So you still pay someone? Legal order, that was when um, my wages were being garnished. So I had the bank um, cancel that. You've already had your wages garnished. Mm -hmm. What was that for? Chase. And speedy cash. And then ADP payroll? That is uh, my payroll company, but they know, just terminated me because I was inactive because I was not using it. Good. Mm -hmm. Lots of Zells. Zells for days. Apple Cash, DoorDash. Yeah, it makes sense in our mm -hmm. situation. ATM, who knows where the f that $600 went. Mm -hmm. I think it's rent money. Huh? I think that's the rent money. Rent, okay. Amazon, mm -hmm. Applebee's, at least eat real food. McDonald's, mm -hmm. Taquitos, DoorDash, Pizza Hut, Klarna, Wendy's, every table. That's healthy and it's cheap. Every table? Yeah, it's only it seven dollars. Up, yeah, but I bought five meals. Okay. It's affordable. It's not the worst. Yeah. Netflix. More every table. Yeah, but but that was like a day in between, so that doesn't make any sense. I really Smart like their meals. Final. Okay, so you just slam them more. down. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Mm. More firm. Amazon. Grubhub. 
Poro Cafe. That's what everyone says, and that's why I'm about to yell at you. Apple, Apple, Poro's Bakery, Afterpay, Hulu, Coffee, Amazon. If you divide that by 30 days, it's, it's not bad. We're getting like one a day at this point. California Chicken, Amazon, Amazon, McDonald's, Starbucks, DoorDash, Dog House, Apple Bill, Apple Bill. Quickly clean car wash. That's what we absolutely need to survive. It's only like $5. DoorDash, it was 12 Shut the f- up. <laughs> Square Weebly. Square Weebly. So is that your website? Or? Yeah, a website. But two? Mm. Okay. More Every Table Pizza Hut. Shahabad. Uh, Shahabad. I think that's a gas station. Okay. Mm-hmm. Apple Bill. Tacos. Amazon. Amazon Coffee. Panera Bread. Facebook. Maybe advertisement on there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Florence Express. What is smart and final? So any grocery charge on there will be for produce for my business. Yeah. I used to do wholesale. This isn't a business checking account, is it? Yeah, it is. But that's it the is? only one I have. That my But that doesn't make any sense. My personal account was closed because I had How some, are you separating personal and business? Then? I'm not. Well, that's fucking terrible. I know. I know. Then why aren't you? Because I'm on bad terms with Chase and Bank of America because Go of my... Go to any other thousand banks then. They're far away from where I live, so it's a little bit more difficult. You don't have to be there in person at all times. What, you go to your bank mm. once a day? Mm, probably, but when if I need cash. Your, if this is your personal mm. checking account, it's, it's, it's a little different. Maybe mm. your business one you need quick access to. Mm. I need to do that. I need to get another account to separate my personal and my business, but I hardly spend on myself, though. So I, at the moment, I don't think it's that much of an issue. Chipotle. I need to eat. Chipotle, it's affordable. It's very affordable. No, that's stupid as f- It's $25. That doesn't make any sense. F- make a sandwich. Are you kidding me? I get pay. some beans. Get some beans. Get some beans. Get beans. Some, oh my gosh. Get some beans. Get some steak. Cook the steak. Meal prep. Meal prep. Beans. <laughs> Could have said something else besides beans. I was just thinking of a Chipotle bowl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Reddit will have a field day with that. Mm-hmm. Apple, Affirm, DoorDash, DashPass. So we have the Uber Eats one and DoorDash. Great. Mm-hmm. That's smart. Mm-hmm. DoorDash. Afterpay, Starbucks. Oh, we don't support Starbucks, but anyways. Well, you did. That I was really hungry. That was the only thing open. Hungry, that's what I think, Starbucks. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. But see, it wasn't that bad. So you only bring in like 2,000 bucks a month, like actually, into your account. Probably. How do you pay rent? Because that dude over there? Rent? See how you're surviving? No. Rent's a thousand. Well, okay. One person who should not be named is one of my personal creditors that... Let me borrow eight thousand oh, dollars. Well, I, I was forgot about those. Okay, so there's yes. a person. Yes, I have two individuals who each let me borrow eight thousand dollars. What they, are their relationships without naming them? One is my grandmother. Oh, that's terrible. Who I live with, but I take care of her. Yeah, but you're mm-hmm. borrowing money from her. What's person two? Person two is anonymous. Are you able to say your relationship? Um, like how they're in your life in any kind of way? They're a close friend who prefers to be anonymous. So it's a friend? A friend. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And they, they truly believed that I was not being irresponsible and they were there. Well, they're incorrect. That It was for the business. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. uber successful business that only needs money going into it and can't take any out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Within Makes five sense. years, I will have a franchise. I believe it. I see oh, it. F- I trust the process. Oh, what process? I trust it. What process? What uh-huh. process are you possibly processing process? I mean, you're a business owner. You know the process. You have to start from the bottom and struggle for the first three, four, five years. I started a business. Mm-hmm. I didn't hire anyone until I could afford it. Uh-huh. I didn't buy any equipment until I could afford it. Uh-huh. I didn't take out debt to grow my business. Uh-huh. I didn't quit my full-time job uh-huh. until this was enough to live off of. Uh-huh. I scaled my business with the money coming in. Mm-hmm. Process. Don't tell me about a process. You didn't have a process. Your mm-hmm. process is getting <laughs> and hoping you get un <laughs> in the future. But then how do you keep up with all the labor if you don't have any employees? If, if you... Okay. Okay. Okay, if you need labor because there's that much business, then your prices are incorrect if, mm-hmm. if if you're not able to offset it and bring some in. Labor is an investment. These people were an investment mm-hmm. that I knew would drive more revenue. Mm-hmm. 
See, your prices are either incorrect mm -hmm. or there's not enough demand that you actually need to bring in this labor mm -hmm. and you're just being lazy. Mm -hmm. or, I mean, you're open three hours a day. Mm -hmm. Four. So I don't mm -hmm. know what the f*** you're talking about, mm -hmm. labor. See, I let my employee go. So now I run it by myself, but- Oh, well, there you go. I still have one for the weekend, but oh. now it's tough because now that business starting picking up, I'm like, oh no, I do not want to fall back into this hole of getting an employee. Don't. So I work, stick it no, out. No, no. Yeah, work your f***ing ass off uh -huh. until you can't. Uh -huh. Until you are literally turning down business because you uh -huh. do not have enough time. Then you're bringing on people. Uh -huh. Until then, you're working yourself to your just bones. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. As a business owner, as an entrepreneur, uh -huh. grinding it out. That's but why I get you know, DoorDash. I, I had the polar opposite of you mm -hmm. here. I had Jenny. She's a YouTuber. Uh, we hung out these last couple of days. She was awesome. And she grinds every second of her life. Mm -hmm. She's built up to 2 million subscribers. She's being very successful. She's doing all this. And she's working like 18 hours a day. And mm -hmm. she's only started to bring on uh a little bit of help because she knows it delivers even more and more value mm -hmm. that she is no longer capable of because she's working too many hours that's an entrepreneur mm -hmm. that's someone who's working that's someone who's bringing value to the marketplace mm -hmm. that's someone who's being successful because oh there's a little bit there's a little bit of work <laughs> doesn't mean we're bringing on an employee that you're eventually uh -huh. gonna have to let go that's uh -huh. irresponsible as a boss uh -huh. and just rude yeah, yeah. I, I would mm. never even come close to hiring one of them mm -hmm. if I thought there was a potential that, oh, fuck, well, you know, in like six months, I might have to lay them off. Might is always mm -hmm. a possibility, mm -hmm. but you don't go into that hiring with the uncertainty that they could get laid off. Mm -hmm. It's more of a, you know, they'll bring value to the business and continue accelerating mm -hmm. it so that I can keep them on so they can pay their bills. Mm -hmm. It's irresponsible as a business owner, as a boss, as an entrepreneur to bring people on mm -hmm. in a position where they'll likely get laid off. And that actually pisses me off. I'll be honest. It pissed me off. That was one of the. But you're considering doing it again. So f you. I so. have to. I have to. No, you to. don't. You're open three, four hours a day. What do you mean you have to? Juicing takes a long time. Where? A Where? A long time. It's like I have okay. to market. Okay. Okay. But everything. you're not going to make a f***ing... You make no... Basically no profit by uh -huh. yourself. If you're bringing on this other person and it's not driving extra revenue, you're going to be making no profits, of which case your business mm -hmm. model is proven as a failure. Mm -hmm. It's as easy as that. No one's entitled to have a business be successful. Mm -hmm. So what, as you as a business owner, what is the next step? What can Dude, I do? Work until you cannot mm -hmm. work anymore. One, I would not have signed that terrible lease. Mm -hmm. Once you're, I would just try to break it if possible. Uh -huh. And I would just be, if you have that relationship with the mayor and you're able to be on that street, be in the busiest spots at mm -hmm. all times. Save up your money. Don't take out any more debt. Pay off the debt. Save up enough money to be able to get a storefront in mm -hmm. an area that actually makes sense if that's what you want to do as a physical location. And then work it, work it, work it until you literally cannot work anymore. And only then, then and only then can you bring someone on as long as it makes economic sense for the business or else you're just throwing your dream down the drain yeah for a mm -hmm. little extra help it's it was just such a good offer to turn away 390 a month a big space a but, space that big would have cost me five thousand yes, dollars commercially there's a reason why the rent's that cheap because you're mm -hmm. making nothing from it uh -huh. it's a shitty location uh -huh. so don't say that again that's the stupidest thing i've ever heard in my life <sighs> It's, and it's you're doing rough. a merch launch next month? I am. Who's buying your merch? You'd be surprised. A lot of people enjoy seeing my struggles and seeing how far I've gotten and how I've yeah, gotten will they here. they spend money on merch? What's your merch, gonna, what's your merch idea? <laughs> One of them is Tortilla Smuggler because um, last winter, well, yeah, what was it? November, December, January, when I started, decided to close the business and do Uber to recover, I took on side gigs and one of them was smuggling tortillas across the Mexican border. What the f Paid $2,000 after, what? after gas. What? Because you need a permit and the restaurant that I was doing it for ha didn't have the permit yet. And then they just exhausted their smuggling capacity. So they asked me to smuggle them. So I did that for an entire <laughs> month. Tortillas? Yes. Yes, you'd be surprised how there's a market for tortilla smuggling. The best tortillas are in Tijuana. They're handmade. They're vegan. So they were paying me 200 a trip. And then sometimes they would pay me for gas. So I would profit about $200. And I would go two, three times a week. And that, that helped me come out of my little 
that whole a little bit so, so i was able to reopen the business again in january so you were very much breaking the law it's not breaking the law you because they let me through huh they, okay so technically i need a permit but sometimes they'd be nice about it they asked me why i had so many i told them i worked at a record label so you lied yes but they kind of already knew what? that doesn't make any sense why do you have so many tortillas because i have a record label oh well then you're good mexican regional artists like tortilla so i told them i worked for peso pluma which is one of the top artists right now mm -hmm. and that they we had events every week and we used the tortillas and i would pass them through sometimes they would believe me sometimes they wouldn't sometimes they would drug search me thinking i had drugs in the tortillas which was better for me because i knew the, all i had was the tortillas and that helped me for about a month and i started posting videos about things that i would do to get out of my hole and people started liking them and they i've been keeping up with my whole journey of open being a street vendor and smuggling tortillas and being in debt and my profits for caterings profits for street vending and now i have a good little cult following of people who actually are here to see me open that first What's store your merch strategy merch strategy is first i started with the debt video and i told people that this is how i'm gonna start paying my debt originally my plan was to use these profits to open or say for a storefront but then it hit me once i made the debt video that i should probably pay my debt first and i probably can't open a storefront if i declare bankruptcy so mm. now i'm geared more towards paying my rent i mean sorry not my rent my debt and then opening a storefront so now the merch strategy is to let people know that part one is paying off my debt so that's my first strategy if they're supporters and they like my content want to see me get the storefront a t-shirt would help fund that dream and yeah and people really like the designs i'm also an artist as a side gig so. can i see the designs yeah of course one of them is tortilla smuggler and the other one is um it's um me vale madre which is i don't oh it's me vale madre echale ganas tu puedes which is in english i don't give a f keep going you can do it so you're relying on them to be able to speak spanish majority of my customers speak spanish like 95 okay. percent of them customers customers fans followers fans follow okay. okay yeah good it's for good. my business and for my followers just don't want you to narrow your audience but if that's where it's can i see Go yeah, yeah gotcha and then the third shirt is just a, a caricature of my business so me as a caricature and you're banking a decent amount yes yeah, so um, it, costs, it costs money for you to do this yes yeah, so my friend has a, a printing business so they're funding the shirts and the prints and then once i make the sales i'll be able to pay them i think a thousand five hundred you don't do anything without going into debt do you you don't wake up in the morning without going into debt to someone that's the first thing you do when you wake up is who can i owe money to you gotta risk oh it and if gosh. people trust not, you you don't your risk mm -hmm. is very confusing your mm -hmm. risk is stupid there are risks that people take and that uh -huh. is good to take your risk is just like i'm gonna throw everything away and just hope it works it's stupid it's dumb i want to die I'm very fortunate that people actually trust me. They trust me and they see where it's yeah, going. Yeah, that makes no sense. I don't know how anyone trusts you. You don't pay your taxes. They know my character. They trust um, it. Doesn't, not, mm -hmm. I don't get your your Whatever you present yourself as is whatever. The uh -huh. proof is in the pudding. You do not pay your bills. Okay, here's the first design. It's earthy. It's me as a caricature. So my business is called Earthy Press. So that's me. It's very cute, very very appropriate okay, so hoping on okay. businesses to do this and then here is the or, one that's like the i don't give a f one but in spanish it's me vale madre and has a little juice on it it's cute right i'll send you one i'll send you one no it's cute it's but cute. i mean we we personally struggled with that uh -huh. kind of text like that that was our like we lo, wor, uh -huh. worst performing merchandise so uh -huh. just a little nervous yeah you, you have merch right I yeah, like it. This was I very really successful. like it. But uh -huh. when we had text going up and around something, it was uh -huh. not as successful because it's harder. Uh -huh. You don't have that quick instant like, oh, I know what's going on. And then the last one is the tortilla smugglers. This is more like a, a male shirt. We had a good amount of male followers that were into this. Nah, I don't like that one. I like the first one though. The first one's cute, right? I am confident that they'll sell either from my business oh, following, the confidence. my customers, investment strategy, confidence. or my supporters. Mm -hmm. So you owe 2,500, there's another debt. And then you, st what, you started to go fund me. That's kind of gross, I don't like that. I know, I took it down. Good. I took it down. Good. Originally it was- like, Take care of your own shit. Yeah, it was meant for the storefront and so many people were encouraging me to do it. They're like, F what people think, just do it. Like we're low income people, first gen people, like 
you know, we have to start somewhere. Then I did it. And then I realized how much debt I was in. And I realized I'm not going to declare bankruptcy anymore. So I probably am not ready for the storefront. So I shut it down. I had only collected, I think, $600. Originally, my plan was to collect $100,000 to open a storefront. So 30 would come from the GoFundMe. 30 would be saved from myself. And then another 30 I was hoping to find randomly. So when it comes to your overall spending, let's see what we got. Debt repayment, only 4.4%. Is that for everything? That's a f- joke. Is yeah. that everything altogether? Yeah. Okay. Including the car? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Transportation, 2.1%. That doesn't include the car payment because also, f- you, you weren't paying on the car anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Like, you know, we only calculate what you actually put towards it. So yeah. necessary food, which you put all on the business card. I don't know how you're planning on doing any kind of deductions or write-offs. Mm-hmm. Good f-ing luck. 12%. Bull food going out to eat. Uh, 10.2%. Unknown shopping, 21%. That's pretty aggressive. That's usually Amazon or just things that we can't tell what it is. And it sounds yeah. like a lot went to the business, but you were yeah. pumping a lot of money into this business and not really getting any return. I think 100% like, of man, it. Man, imagine if business. you just put that money in the f-ing market. I know. I know. I yeah. think food industry is one of the worst industries it is. for profit. Restaurants yes. have a 5% and, and profit. And success. Mm-hmm. Medical and healthcare, 1.6%, 0.8% for subscriptions, miscellaneous bullshit, getting some taquitos, 1.8%, <laughs> and other large purchases, 45.6%. Look, let's look at those okay. other large purchases. I believe a lot of them are ATM withdrawals. Yes. You said one of those was rent. Yes. Or sometimes and, I... Oh, what about your rent? How is housing? Uh, not uh, Because we just didn't see it? Like, yeah. How, I, how's your housing paid for? I live with my grandma. So we live in an apartment and we've been living there like, 30 years so yeah. we pay she pays a thousand i pay a thousand so okay. we pay that in cash so many of those oh, transactions are well, to f- yeah, this is all because we had 740 dollars coming out from atm which all the, there was the payroll there's the legal order uh, square payments going out zen uh vel uh, zell yeah venmo cash app out 926 dollars yeah or sometimes i do pay some of my home field creditors. advantage oh that's my rent for the church that was three eighty nine. Bottle supply. Link tree was ninety dollars. Yeah, and I never used it. Cancel it. Yeah. Staples Weebly U Haul. Okay. It's there's not much extra spending. You have to agree to that. It's all. What do you mean? Purposeful. No, it, well, well, the eighteen of trust again. I can't tell exactly where that's going, but mm-hmm. food going out to eat ten point two percent. Yeah. Is that necessary spending? No, not when we have debt to pay off. That doesn't make any. F- yeah. Taquitos two percent doesn't make any f-ing sense. Monthly, it's only like two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars at most. That's what that could be going to debt, even if that's the correct percentage. Uh-huh. First of all, all the money that came in, and then I have to feed my grandma. Well, after profits, after profits was about two thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Is that with or without the pay pay? All, all the money that came in regardless, before mm-hmm. any expenditures, all the money that came in from the business and pay pigs and everything, even the GoFundMe, it was $5,759.38. But $6,076.65 went out. That is not including cash transactions. So with cash you don't transactions, deposit? I don't deposit. Sometimes I just use it to spend on produce or rent or whatever I need. Does it all just go to zero then? Yeah, pretty much. I don't okay, have Okay, well, then it doesn't count. Safe. You still spend more money than you make. Yeah. By $300. Yep. So now it's like, do I cut on spending? Do I make more money? This do I This business is not successful. Mm-hmm. It's not making mm-hmm. anything. It's paying me, though, so it's going somewhere. You spent more money. More money went out than went in this last month. Uh-huh. Y'all, this is the time to switch to my favorite high yield savings account. With SoFi, you can get 4.6% on your money. I hate when my money is just losing value, so make sure you're keeping up with inflation at the very least. You can also get FDIC insurance on that money up to $2 million with them. Plus, they'll give you money up to $300 when you set up an account with them. There's even extra perks like being able to get paid a couple days early. SoFi is what I use when I'm setting money aside, and it is the banking app of the future. Sign up, link in the description below. I always want my money to be making more money, so don't lose money on yours. I think if it weren't for my debt, I think- The amount of hours you put into it, if that was to set a job, Mm. you'd be doing so much better. Uh Uh-huh. What's your phone bill total? Um... 
I think $50. It's pretty good. You should do $20 with helium. They're yeah. a partner. We can get you set up. Mm. Yeah, my, For my bills, I think I spend around 2000 Gas, maybe $200 a month. I used to do Uber, but now I don't do Uber anymore because things started picking up a little. Car insurance? 100 Do you pay it? I'm missing one. Oh. I know. Something in my brain told me to ask. And mm. I, now I see why. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sometimes it's you pick between bills or paying for business expenses. Again? Mm-hmm. Again, you spent hundreds of dollars eating out. I would spend hundreds if I cooked too and have less time. You already spent hundreds on groceries. Not for myself. They're all for the business. I don't buy cro- groceries. I just... You have to be consuming some because you also don't... You, you, mm-hmm. you, you're you not just getting a meal a day. We have a schedule, my grandma and I. So she cooks breakfast and then I buy lunch. With her own groceries? Yes. And then I buy lunch for us. Oh. And then... Cook lunch! Sandwiches! We'll starve. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the health field. Like, you really need to eat healthy to do yeah, good. Yeah, make healthy food, dude. That takes Make time. a salad. There's no protein in the salad. But cut chicken pieces. Maybe if I get like a rotisserie chicken from Walmart. Congratulations, you solved your entire issue. That could work. That could probably work. I could probably eat less. I mean, not eat less, but. Eat out. Or eat, eat out less. Yeah. I mean, even though Chipotle is like okay, eight bucks, stop. but. Eh. It, but the rotisserie chicken is eight dollars i know and you can stretch that for a week that's true that's true. well for one person but. that's true okay food you're putting towards groceries for yourself three hundred dollars not doing business funds in here because you've got a separate hundred dollars for tp fund that's anything else you need to survive in life that's makeup that's toilet paper it's whatever mm-hmm. it's the hygiene things all the good goodies good 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 get Oh, you already told me gas. Housing total is a thousand for yourself. What about putting towards utilities and stuff like that? Probably a hundred. Okay, and then what about internet? Inter no internet. I don't know how. How? I had to cut it. Medical healthcare. There was some stuff. Is it a gym? Is there what is uh, it? Medical. I think I have a gym membership. It's fifty a month. Okay, that's about it. Subscriptions. Uh, you're gonna have business subscriptions, but personal. Nope. Cancel the Netflix. Cancel the Hulu. Gotcha. It's dumb. Doesn't make any sense you shouldn't have time to be doing it anyway if you're trying to build a successful business if we're being completely honest renters insurance renters insurance none okay ten dollars get it okay oh now we're not doing the business and your minimum monthly payments on debt aren't other than your car aren't that much it's a hundred dollars for the student loans but they're not that much because you don't have the minimum monthly payment in terms of the merchandise or person one or person two or the collections or the taxes because you haven't even like talked to them so Mm -hmm. you're just it all up so Mm -hmm. either way you need to get on a payment plan talk to them my gosh Mm -hmm. okay we have car payment student loans 100 taxes probably create a payment plan call them yes okay and then we have collections that's a big one yeah you haven't touched okay so what you need to survive Mm -hmm. your minimum survival not business is $2,413.44. So after the profits of your business, you're already behind by $413.44. Mm-hmm. Yes. So a lot of this is, this is going to come down to, um, unfortunately, it's one of those income situations. I feel like we've had more of those recently. Um, but your income, is, it's an interesting way because you're, you're running it. It's through the business, the business that you own, the business that you run. Yes. Mm. It's like, it's been three years. It just needs a little bit more, a little bit more. And then I'm When do you out. give up? I don't, I think I'm stuck with this. That's I'm, not good. I'm stuck with it. That's this, not good. I've That's invested. not real world. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. You're considered, no. An investment, you're looking to get a return. You're not getting a return. Mm-hmm. I think for you, man, we could make $2,413 at a job. Without you putting expenses in. I'm not saying go do that Mm -hmm. necessarily, but it's like Uh break that lease if you Uh can. Try on the daily basis out there in a food cart situation Mm -hmm. that you did. See if we can make anything more that way. Mm -hmm. You need to find a way to maximize business revenue. Actually do the books on the business. Do you, how, how, like, hmm, how thorough are you? I'm on top. I'm very thorough. Well, just 2023, I gave up. Doubt. 
I gave up. I'm very thorough. Oh, but you have business and personal all in one account. So I, uh, again, doubt. Mm-hmm. I know what's Press coming in and out doubt. of the business, just not my debts. I, I com- chose to ignore those. But business, I'm on top of that. I know the numbers. We have a 20% um, profit right now. After I pay my, inc- or after I do the debt payments, that's what's coming in, 20%. Which is pretty good compared to the market. The market's 5% yeah, for restaurants. Yeah, just your business makes no money. <sighs> the profit margins are good, though. Your business makes no money, so it doesn't matter. Uh-huh. It just needs a little bit more. If I could get up to like $12,000 in sales, then I could make it. Okay, that's an F. How the f- are you doing that? It's up there. It's been three years, and I still have loyal customers. It's getting there. It's getting there. Saying you still have loyal customers isn't a good thing. We need to be acquiring new customers. I have new and but I'm saying the product is good that people stick around for three years. So that must say something about the business. Yeah, we need to break that lease and get it in an area though. Uh-huh. That, so a like, better area. Yes, of course. Uh-huh. That Not in is, a dead zone. Yeah. For three ninety. And if you can't then you need to start hmm. how many hours a day do you work? Be honest, don't f me. Like I wake up at four in the morning. Mm-hmm. And I start working at six in the morning, mm-hmm. and then I leave the shop at six p.m. So twelve hours. Okay, this part sucks. Uh, just because you're just going further in debt and things just aren't going well, and it's going to shut down your business. Mm-hmm. After that, a few nights a week, we need to work an extra four or five hours somewhere. Yeah, in a coffee shop, yeah. anything. I don't care. Whatever. Yeah for maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday type situation or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Mm -hmm. just so you can bring in the extra money and just at least break even. Breaking even is not doing anything for us though because the car, the interest rate, you know, maybe we're minimum monthly payment until it's paid off. The term is probably longer than I'd like, but either way, that's not our make or break. The taxes, we need to start paying. We need to, if we get on a payment plan, all of a sudden that's like 500 bucks a month and you need to to make an extra thousand dollars a month, which is really scary. Yeah. Because you're not willing to give up this business and you already put a lot of hours towards it and you're considering hiring someone. That's a terrible idea. Then the collections, I mean, you want to negotiate them, but the taxes come first. And then you deal with the person number one and then the person number two. Jeez, and this I merch, know. this merch, f- hope it works. One of the designs were uh-huh. was okay. Uh-huh. And you owe money from it. Uh-huh. It's going to sell positive. <laughs> it's gonna sell people believe in what i'm saying they do you believe in what you're saying mm-hmm. once i make it people are gonna be like oh damn she when knew is it what done? She was doing when is it, it launching it's launching next week you tell us by the end of next week what happens i'm gonna tell you guys i'm gonna send you a shirt i'll ship it over well no don't do that because i need you to make money mm-hmm. i don't want you to put any extra money into this uh-huh. i appreciate the heart Mm. And I would like it. We'd frame it or something, but uh-huh. I don't need you. Uh-huh. To f- okay, you're so doing two hundred shirts. Two hundred shirts. How long until you think you sell two hundred? I think less than a week. Okay, by the end of next week, yes. I want to see proof. I will show you guys. I want to see proof, Positive. and this video won't have come out and by then. So, uh-huh. um, because we're really ahead, which is yay. That's mm. nice. Mm. Uh, and I'll I'll put in the pinned comment. Mm-hmm. And you're going to prove mm-hmm. to the audience whether or not this is actually a successful thing. Mm-hmm. I'm very nervous. Mm-hmm. Are you planning to get more uh, micro piggies or something? Like yeah, that? I think that's it. Just that one. Okay, so Just, you're not into it. I, I like seeing the payments. It's it's helping me <laughs> stay aboard. Okay, you're into the money. What about the work behind the money? <sighs> I, I don't like being mean. I don't like doing that. Okay, well, but then, some people are into it, so it makes me happy that at least he's happy. Well, what's scaring me is like the two thousand uh-huh. dollars that you get a month, and uh-huh. you need two thousand four hundred to survive, and that's not making any progress on taxes or anything. Uh-huh. Requires this debt piggy thing. If you stop that, uh-huh. he stops it. Then we're like a thousand dollars in the whole thousand two hundred something like that, mm-hmm. and that's just a f- disaster. Uh-huh. Then we need to make like two thousand dollars minimum, yeah. extra a month in our pockets after taxes after whatever. And you need to be setting money aside for taxes like this is all Yes. In California, they don't have the nicest taxes either for businesses and stuff. So yes. it's like this is it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. I need at least ten thousand dollars. I just wish you month. were working a job. I'm sorry. I don't want to crush any small businesses dream. I one thing I would say is if I could go back, I would start my business with a savings account. I started with zero dollars. Absolutely. I would have changed that if I knew better. I would have not spent my unemployment money 
because that's when uh, I came up with a business concept. Unemployment gave me $60,000 because at the time during COVID, California was giving everyone $600 on top every single week of what everyone was getting monthly. Plus the extra federal money. Yeah, so we're getting around five to $6,000 every month wow. for the entirety of 2020. I would have saved that money to start a business. It wasn't until the what end. What do you do with it instead? So my expenses at the time, including my credit cards, were $4,000. So I had an extra thousand, thousand five hundred every month that I used to buy a car. I got a root canal. I bought my grandma furniture. Maybe I, I spent a little on clothes. I maybe I spent a little oh, on clothes. I spent a lot on clothes and then I oh took a road trip God. across California and then by the end of that year when unemployment ended I got COVID finally and I was quarantined for a month I had a hundred dollars left and I thought what the hell do I do either one go back to my job as a behavior therapist for children with autism which it's I hated and I quit and that's how I started this whole journey and or I can open a business, work for myself. And that's what I decided to do. I originally wanted coffee shop, but I didn't have money. So oh I did gosh, juice. Stop. I know. I appreciate the entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, this, this is the scary part at some point. Mm -hmm. I think you need to realize, is it worth continuing or not? I hope it's worth continuing. Mm -hmm. I do, I'm rooting for it. I'm rooting for you. But there's also the real world and it doesn't really matter if I want to continue or if you want it to continue, the market will tell you. Mm -hmm. um, so there is that. And there's also the fact you need to go bring in an extra, you need to double your income right now, essentially, yes. mm -hmm. to make up for uh, Little Miss Piggy, like no longer wanting to give any money, which <laughs> could happen at any time. Uh -huh. Like you don't need that thousand dollars is not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Might move on to a different, more exciting kink. Who knows? So if I were to find other revenues, should I keep going with my business? Should I keep the dream alive? Should and would and can is completely different. Uh -huh. And you won't listen to should or would I. What I will say is that sure, so you can. If you bring in it. an extra $1,500 a mm -hmm. $2,000, I would shoot for an extra $2,000 a month right now because I don't think uh, my is going to mm -hmm. last for long. Uh -huh. So it's just like, okay, that will at least know that we have an extra thousand dollars in our pocket. Oh, f so that's all I need. Two thousand, two thousand dollars more. That's all I need, right? Net, net. Uh huh. Yeah. So we can start paying our taxes, and that's going to take what feels like forever to pay off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> start negotiating our collections one at a time, probably smallest to largest. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's already that's a whole thing within itself. Then start paying off the personal loans and merchandise. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just there's a lot. But if you're able to bring an extra two thousand dollars a month, I'm you know feel free to continue this thing. But it's going to be an aggressively long process, and I'd cut out any b you do not need until mm -hmm. then. And I would eat as cheap as possible that is healthy. When you go through our budgeting program, you're going to find we're going to give you a menu mm -hmm. that is meal prepping that you can do three hundred dollars for a single person, two hundred fifty dollars actually, but we stretch it to three hundred dollars by upgrading some things in there. Uh, and snacks and with, desserts with and all that stuff. beans are beans included i think beans are included thank you yes. i was You're hoping welcome. there were beans on there of course mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's great <laughs> i'm excited to eat healthy and less i think that might make a difference that might make a difference not much maybe like a hundred dollars a month but still a hundred is something that's a thousand it a is year in your situation yeah. a thousand a year that's something yeah. more than a thousand yeah but i pay someone off yeah so make more money and eat Let's get out your less. Hammer Financial okay. Score. If you want your Hammer Financial Score, it's a link in the description below. It is free. What is happening? I can't do it. Okay. Spending in a budget wasn't great. Not much went to debt when everything should be going to debt. And you're eating now mm, decently, but a lot was also going to the business. So it's kind of confusing. Three out of 10 debt while you're in collections, immediate zero out of 10 and money to taxes. So that's mm -hmm. a zero out of 10. Emergency fund, there's nothing in savings retirement. There's nothing in real estate. There's nothing, oh, shit, that sucks. Hammer financial score, 0. 0.5 out of 10. Join us for the post show. Oh my goodness. Where she's gonna, this is gonna get weird, but also check out all the links in the description below. So there are uh, resources that I use or would use in specific situations, including the best budgeting program in the history of the internet. Now join us for the post show today on the financial audit post show you're gonna have to freehand for this because i don't think i'm necessarily into it the pigs are just into being called a loser with a small say call me a loser with a small p caleb you f 
you better give me financial advice. To watch the financial audit post show, click the join button below.